defensive pressure by Penn and Broder gets the rebound. We'll see if they give the credit on the block to Simmons. I don't think they will. It was just outside the cylinder. Ryberg barely kept alive as we get a body nearly in our broadcast position. That's Lou Ellen back up on the floor. Mississauga, Ontario native. Ruby Guzzo picked up his dribble, put it on the floor. That is a great look. Looked like he was pulling up to shoot and just passed it down low. And go down and slam it home and just extend this lead to even greater lengths at 23 points. How about that's a scary sight if you're the rim. <laughs> Juzang with a steal. Ledlow Forbes. Juzang all the way in, missed the layup. Good contest by Wyatt. Yes, who's in off the bench. Bruner lobbed in for Yes. Taken by... 90 seconds left to go in the half. No pressure on the ball, which is interesting. Allowing Penn to get a look. They want to pressure the point of attack a bit more because free shots and free cutters, Penn will hurt you. Broder against the Wildcats at the number four seed, and they were really the top pick for an upset. You always have to bank on, what, a 12 beating a 7 or a... to the other before we get our first shot. So look for Harvard to do a little bit more of that here in the second half. As far as Siena goes, I did see Elijah Burns getting worked on coming out of the locker room. A lot on his left knee. He's back in there now, but he was moving a little slow coming out of the locker room, so keep an eye on it. Again, back to quick you guys. turnaround for the Saints still, and they played on Tuesday night. Haven't heard from Donald Carey yet in this second half after he scored 15 in the first half. And he's been out there. Pickett looking to get it inside, might have forced it. He saw the... So crucial in this contest. Danilo Juricic into the game for Harvard. It's on defensively here. And that's picked off. Juzang to the rim. Nice lay-in for Lewis, and he'll slam through for Kirkwood as well because Llewellyn just scored on the other end, and that's the sign of a true gamer. You go down the other end as the leader on the squad right now. You need to make a bucket. In the basket, go to the basket. Get that seventh foul on Princeton. You're in the bonus the rest of this half. Four minutes to go here in the opening half. Juzang, extra pass. That's four. There by Ty Bibbs to win the possession back for Columbia, but it didn't work. Trying to get the hard ricochet out of bounds, but it ended up just dying on the floor, and Baker could pick it up. Harvard gets a score here. They'll lead in fourth or fifth chance points, if that's even a category. <laughs> Juzang calling the action. Feeds Lewis down low. That's his happy spot, and he scores. Mark, though, inside, blocked by Baker. Averaging a block and a half per game quickly ahead. Showtime, Lewis. This group of reserves, they really feed off the energy of this crowd, and they love watching their fellow sophomore Noah Kirkwood lead his team in scoring. This time it's Chris Lewis. Smith is leading in that category as well for Columbia. He has 19 of the 32 total points in this game. Slipped inside, and Lewis scores right off the jump. Juzank, skip pass to Juricic. Eight seconds to shoot. Juzank. Pick and roll to Lewis. Got it. Plus the foul. Harvard was, was going to reverse it and then changed his mind at the last minute. That exposed the ball. Allowed Knapp to get in for it. Into the low post. Lewis backing in on Warren. Settles for the hook and scores. <laughs> now in the second half, more than they cobbled together the entire first half. 
Juze whips it back. Juricic for three. Hat trick. And in terms of leading a group that is two and two and was being Ivy League champion. And Law played a Baker who his team has played well in stretches but have not put together 40 minutes. Kirkwood Euro step push the pace score early and easy in transition. You don't want to face Yale's five on five half court defense all night long. Jurchich for three. Imagine that halftime is going to be pretty loud for the Yale Bulldogs. Coach Jones has to light a fire under his guys because it's a little bit quiet in here and their energy. Eleven two run. Haskett's jumper. Under eight minutes left to go. Got to be mindful of Kirkwood, best playmaker for the Crimson. He'll get to the rim at will. Juzang to the lane. Lewis really uh, very successful this season in terms of scoring defense, three-point percentage offensively. It's not happening for them thus far. You nailed it, Derek. Kirkwood pump fake. And gets the bounce. Get assists because they've turned it over. So those three things that Coach Jones holds his team to, right now it's a subpar effort for the Bulldogs. Swain with 22 now. But they are going to need help from other sources. Baker, his drive, and he finishes. We see here tonight in terms of player-on-player -player matchups. And Lewis might be one of the... Ooh, a lob play collected, and Lewis saves it. And now Harvard will go back down the floor ahead to Kirkwood. But when you don't cut and you don't move, you don't move the second line of the defense. So even if you beat your man, you're facing a defender who's just been standing around there. It's so much easier to help. Kirkwood launching, knocking down the three-pointer. Noah Kirkwood. It's a three. Oh, almost got it to go. Instead, a long rebound out to Juzang. What a filthy crossover to refuse the screen. Juricic, he'll try a three and hit. Don't go anywhere. With a rebound. Harvard did a lot of damage in the first half on the offensive glass. We'll see if that continues here in half two. Solid defensive possession here from Penn. No breakdowns. Lewis cutting in. Thanks it in again. Samuels will shoot it. No good. Yeah, and only Crimson players there for the rebound. Credit Harvard's defense. They locked him up. And that is Bassey for three. Baker. It's time to make a move. Stopping the score helps a lot. Dartmouth really swinging the ball. There's the skip again. Every Got time. It. Danilo Jurich. With a stronger post presence. Now the pressure defense dialed up by Dartmouth. Holding on to a six point lead here in the early going. Harvard has seemingly trailed throughout. Great Seth Towns with Bryce Aiken. And they have found an identity without arguably their two best players. Ledlam hangs in the. Every one of his numbers is sky high over the last few games, averaging 20 per night. Ledlam. He's got it. Up comes Juzang. Long stretches of action here in the second half. And Harvard needs somebody to help out offensively other than Lewis. He's just a bit off right now. One for five shooting in the second half after five for five shooting from the field in the first. Deep three. Churchill. He's got it. Against Noah Kirkwood. They're listed at the same size, but you can see that Knight has the added weight and strength. Churchill spun away from trouble. Tommy Amaker has taken his seat, watching Ledlam fire. He's got three more. For some turnovers late in this basketball game. Oh, a wild pass somehow got to Juricic. He finishes on the scoop. Go to the basket. Lewis gets a hand on it. The Yasu work who had the try. You see Irvine wanted a goaltend and there from Austin Johnson. That's usually automatic. Rouse to the basket. May have been a touch there. Against the backboard now, Kirkwood. A third of his three pointers. I'm going to take that one away. Here's Bassey. Now Ledlam. 
Baker for three. He with a rebound. Harvard did a lot of damage in the first half on the offensive glass. We'll see if that continues here in half two. Solid defensive possession here from Penn. No breakdowns. 